everybody. How are we doing? I'm just getting myself all logged in so I can see the videos and I can chat with you. I know I look tired. <laughs> Do you ever have the days of like, I know that I look exhausted. It's just one of those. And we are off to hockey tonight. I mean, it's a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I've found myself live on Facebook. Whoop, whoop, got one. Okay, now let's get you YouTube peeps up and running. <coughs> How is everybody? Do you have your stuff ready? Are you going to play? I want you to play. I'm in that mood. I know that I look exhausted. Oh, turn off. Oh, I feel like I had no volume on face. Oh, it's turned off. Okay, that's good. I just got a little bit scared there because I could not see any comments. Perfect. Okay. Yay. Sorry, that was spazzy. Yay, Mr. Monday. I oh, know I love Mr. Monday. Okay. So for those of you who don't have supplies ready or that don't know what we need, tonight you are going to want a die set because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be die cutting. Should I explain it to you? Let me come over here. I'll get to the other view and then I'll show you and you can grab some bits as we go. Don't ever feel like, you know, you can't kind of pause me. Take you over here. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep the computer close to me so you can still hear. I do have a new iPad en route for Christmas, so hoping it will help us with volume. Uh, someone did say that you can go to YouTube, but I don't feel like this will impact me because I'm the one um, talking and that you can turn up your volume on YouTube. Uh, anyway, I can't remember how they said to do it. So what I've got here is I went and grabbed the diorama dies. I have a hard time saying that with a straight face and not giggling every time. So we have these dies here and they're gorgeous, okay? But then they're super kind of cool shapes. So what I've done is I've die cut one of those, okay? And then, oh, I love you guys. There's so many of you on. This makes me happy. Banner, please. Thank you. I love that you guys are on it because I'm totally clueless. Banner's done. There we go. Okay, so we have got um, the dies. I've already die cut it, but this is not the piece I'm going to use. This is, and you can see because I was working on my sample card. So kind of a fun one. Um, and what we're going to do is you're going to take this and you are going to adhere it to your card front with a temporary adhesive. So whether you choose to use some glue dots or whatever it is, you know, you choose. I'm actually going with, um, I just used a little bit of Dotto, which is an old temporary adhesive that we used to have. Okay, so you could have die cut, for example, uh, a rectangle. You could have die cut a circle. You could have die cut an oval. You could have die cut some other funky shape, but you don't want to use this piece. We want the piece we die cut, and we're going to set it in the middle. Okay, next. Look, at you can see my mess where I was practicing. So what we're going to do next is I have got these three colors. So I have picked uh, soft sea foam, I have picked soft succulent, and I have picked evening evergreen, and they're going to be my three colors for this. Ooh, I feel like my view is not great. Just a sec. Maybe I'll slide it up a hair. Okay, I'm hoping that that still works. Um, and the reason I picked these, number one, I think they go really well together, and I'm really going with the kind of green look on this one, okay? So I'm going to start with my lightest color first. So I'm going with my soft sea foam. Now, I was already doing this. So before I start rubbing the brush into the soft sea foam, I just want to, you know, like maybe take off any extra just like that so that it's not quite so dark. So I'm going into my soft sea foam. I am going to bloop it on here first. And then what you're going to see is I'm just going to start and I'm working it in. And I can cover the whole thing. It's totally okay to cover the whole thing. I am going to add more colors in certain spaces, so I don't have to really pay much attention. Wow, that had a really fun kind of vibration to it. When I said really, hello, my loves. Yay! So good seeing everyone on. Um, I can't believe it's Monday again. I feel like life is like a revolving Monday door right now. Halloween, our school was brilliant. We had a professional day today. So I was at work today, but there were no kids at school today. And my God, was that heavenly because those poor kids, when you get them the day after Halloween, they are blotto. So at least we did not have that today. Everyone was good. I'm hoping that, oh, there you go. Hi, Anne. Yay. Okay. So this, as I said, soft sea foam. Okay. So I just kind of went through and I did a layer of that. Now I will use him again, but I'm going to close him briefly so I don't make a mess. 
Hello, Carol. You guys are very quiet. I'm hoping everyone's stamping. Now I'm going to soft succulent. So remember, if you're doing like a rectangle in the middle or something, you're doing the exact same technique, okay? So now this one, I'm gonna go and I'm going to repeat the process, but I'm not gonna go out quite as far. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna allow the um, soft sea foam to be the color that makes it all the way to the edge. And then I'm gonna use the soft succulent and he's gonna go out, but he's not gonna make it right to the edge of the card. So he's just kind of working his way out from here. Da -da. This looks really pretty when I pull it off. I know it doesn't look like much now. You're probably going, really? This is what we're doing? Now, I think if you did this with like shades of blue, it would be beautiful. You could do it in all kinds of ways. Oh, good. Voice comment. Good girl. Okay. Next. Evening evergreen. Same concept, okay? So again, I'm inking it up, splooching it off, and this time I'm not going even as far as I did before. So this part's gonna stay quite close to my little ring. Now I do wanna make sure, because I'm gonna have green fingers. You've seen me, I'm like, it's like the Incredible Hulk at the end of these things. I can tend to wear a lot of green. So I'm gonna pull this off carefully. Hi, hi, core. There we go. Okay, so you can see, look at what you're left with. Isn't that pretty? But it gets prettier. I would use, oh there. I'm gonna use my adhesive eraser just because I could have ink on my hands. Oh, I think I had ink on my adhesive eraser. That's fabulous, why thank you. I'll cover it up. Um, and we're just gonna take that off. Now normally I would just rub it with my thumb, but I'm really nervous about the state of my hands and whether or not they have ink on them. Okay, so we got that out. Okay, so now we're left with that gorgeous kind of like pattern on the inside. Now, here is what I've done next. So I have grabbed from my favorite, oh my God, never in a million years would you have guessed that this would have been it, from my favorite Christmas season stamp set, I have grabbed all of our stunning leaves that we've got, okay? So we're gonna start with these. Uh, I'm gonna start with my lightest color and kind of work my way out. So I'm going, evening evergreen, apparently I have a deer in here. Dies, toss them to the side. Okay. Is anyone else freezing? I'm not freezing on YouTube. I can see it there. I can't see Facebook because my YouTube is sitting over top of it, so I'm not sure. But YouTube it's not, which means that it's not on my end because it's the signal's making it through okay. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure why it does that. Don't laugh, I'm such a stress case about those things. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I've gone with this big old branch first, okay? So this is the one I'm gonna use in soft seafoam. And I'm just gonna start stamping it. Now, I'm making sure that it hangs kind of inward. It's not, um, it's not like, I don't have the stem kind of poking up midway. So I'm just kind of making sure that its back end is always stamped kind of off. I'm moving it around. Okay. Probably should have stamped my sentiment first. Oh, we can always pick a sentiment based on what I've left myself. So I've just done this kind of little ring. Okay. Now we can close him up. The next one we are going to go to is who? Oh, yeah, it's you. Okay. Got a plan. So we're going to go. Uh, I'm going to start off. This is a bit weird. I'm going dark. So this is my evening evergreen. And I'm using this part of this kind of uh, leaf one. So I'm gonna just take him in, you'll see as I go here, because he actually is gonna get a soft succulent one in behind him, you'll see. So all I'm doing here, just kind of working them through. It doesn't have to be so like, I guess mine's probably pretty um, balanced right now. It doesn't need to be, okay? So kind of just do you on this but it's such a gorgeous effect. Okay, so let's close that up for a sec just till I'm ready to use them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and this is just with my soft succulent one and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna lay it just over top of this because I wanted the darker accent to kind of show. There you go, so you can see it there. I don't know what the banging is upstairs in my house. I'm hoping everybody is okay. Cora and I were yakking tonight um, I don't know about you guys, but Halloween, where I am, was a freak show. 
it was like <clears throat> I said to my sister at one point because she had to leave town with her dog because it was so bad and the poor dog was just losing it. Um, I said last night it actually I thought we were being bombed. It was freaking me out. But my dogs don't care. They did not react. Are you seeing how pretty this is starting to get? I don't know if I like Mystery Monday nights because you guys are quiet. Okay. Have you got yours? So you're kind of working that in. Next. This one is going to go just... Oh, I used the wrong color for that. Hmm. That's okay. Okay. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to use... Um, soft succulent here and I'm just adding in a different leaf now isn't it pretty kind of fun now this one doesn't have to necessarily hang all the way in I'm using him to kind of fill some of my naked spots because heaven forbid do not want a naked card okay and then my favorite branch goes in next oh I have one here that missed his leaves okay so come in let's do that Yes, so tonight, I'm so sorry I moved the time because I have to drive an hour for a 9 o'clock hockey game tonight and he's got to be there at 8.30. So I thought we'd cut it a little bit too close the other way. Okay, let's go in. Let's grab an evening evergreen. Now, I've got a piece of scrap paper here. I would normally, oh, we've got physics on the back. Um, I would normally use my grid paper, but I find my grid paper hard to see online. I don't get as clear of an image when I've got my grid paper behind. My black one seems to do it. So now we're going to go in and we're going to add some of these guys. And I'm just doing them in evening evergreen. And they're just going to add, I don't know, just a, another like layer of like dimension, I guess, because they're darker. You know, you get the darker ones. Yeah. So some of them I'm doubling up. I'm not doing it on all. But do you see that jungle look? Isn't that gorgeous? I want a DSP. It's got a dog hair on it. I want a DSP that looks like that. It's so pretty. Okay, so you can see we've got the lightest soft sea foam, soft succulent, evening evergreen, kind of on our shading coming in. And then we've used all those same colors and it is quite beautiful. Now, sentiment wise, I decided I was gonna go with this one here. It's friends like you. So this is from, whoops, Evergreen elegance. So it's friends like you that make the season so wonderful. Okay. Thanks, Dot. Yeah, it is kind of a cool look. Oh, what's no no, don't ever apologize for being late. Who can't I'll be on it all the time? It's called Christmas Season. Yes. So such a beautiful look to it. And we're gonna accent it with a couple of the other stamps from there. So don't uh, give up on them yet. <clears throat> now I am gonna use my evening evergreen for my sentiment. I want it to be nice and dark in the middle. I don't know about you guys, I do a little test. So when I have a rubber stamp, ignore the physics that's on there, I tend to stamp it like I think it should be if it were straight. And I'm like, oh yeah, that is straight. Okay, so that one works, that's perfect. Now you'll notice my evening evergreen, it's not super dark, but it's because I use it so much and I've used it for a lot with my brush, which tends to take off some ink. So now I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go. Now this is for, ah, look at that, it's so pretty, sorry. Um, great idea for our summer, oh Jennifer, that would be stunning. So Jennifer, you wouldn't necessarily add the pine cones and stuff that I'm doing, yes. I think that'd be so beautiful for a summer Christmas. Okay, so it's friends like you that make this season so wonderful. I don't know if it's straight, but just tip your head if it's not. Look at it slightly angled, okay. Next step, white scrap paper. So I did, where is he? The challenge for tomorrow, it actually, it had a deer in the picture. So we'll see if he fits with what it looks like when I'm done. And you would definitely not be throwing Rudolph. Well, maybe you would. Okay, I'm going early espresso and crumb cake because we've talked about this. They're my two favorite colors for this component. So I'm going to get these guys all out. And then I think I might add some speckling and I might add a cherry cobbler like berry in here okay so let's see what we got this is where I start just like finding blocks to mount everybody on this one I feel like I really I wanted to do it on my last one that I made the sample of so I'm feeling like it'll work okay this is why I have two million blocks right so I don't have to clean stuff I know you're still waiting for the deer punch I know it says November 15th 
they're coming. I don't think there's a lot that they can do right now with the shipping um, backlogs. And then we had that storm and that container ship went like we lost over a hundred containers off the one here. Hi, Patricia Martin. How are you? Okay. Uh, that one, I don't really want to put you on such a big block, but that's all I have there. Okay. Ta-da. So I am going to start like I always do. For me, I like to go dark and then light. Let me show you. Ink it. Stamp it. We're going to do both at the same time just because it'll save me time after the fact. Ink it. Stamp it. Okay. Close it before I turn somebody brown. I think soft succulent is done. I, crumb cake is not. And I think soft suede is. Oh, soft suede is for my deer if I need it. Okay. I know what I was doing. Do I have to talk myself through that? Now, I want you guys to see something. So, I'm inking this up. In crumb cake but I'm gonna bring it up to the camera because I want you to see if you can see this so there's the images this guy actually fills in the holes so when I take him and I lay him over can you see how there he actually fills in the holes so the little images on this fit into the little white windows on this and if you look at it you can actually see them so I just stand over top so I can see where I'm going and I take it right down sounds better here yeah, someone was telling me you can adjust your sound on your end on YouTube so you get like a large, but I don't know, I haven't checked how to do it. Now this one, same concept. So I'm just lining them up, I'm filling the white spaces, and I'm stamping away, and I've got my two gorgeous pine cones. Kim, hello, how are you? Okay, now my, whoops, it says top chat. Shoot, what's happening on YouTube? Okay, hang on, I want live chat. Facebook not freezing. I don't know where the bottom is. It's crazy here too. Went in for four hours. Thankfully, yes. Oh my God. Connie, I just saw your comment about your dog. Yes, we actually um, had a great deal of relief once our last Ridgeback kind of went deaf in that he wasn't losing his mind on Halloween anymore. So true. Did I call them? What color are you using for pine ones? I am using pine cones. I know what you meant. Um, I'm using on mine. Uh, early espresso for my darker color and crumb cake for my lighter color. Now that was just evening evergreen. Oh my God, I'm not even repeating Nancy's out loud. That's way too funny. <laughs> Apparently typos are a thing tonight. <laughs> okay, so next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to ink this guy up in cherry cobbler. I'm going to my edges because it needs re-inking desperately right now. And I have just been, I, let's be honest, probably just been too lazy to get it done. I forget about it. Okay, gorgeous. Um, and I don't think I'm going to add any die cut leaves this time around. I do have a deer here in case we feel like he's appropriate, but I don't feel like he is. He doesn't have to be there. It was just kind of part of the options. Let's take this. Uh, I know, we, that, I'm going to have to get a whole different rating on this video now. Um... Okay, oh, I know what I was gonna do. I thought maybe we could add in a speckling of some dots. Do you like that? Speckled dots. What is all the noise there on Halloween? Oh, it's fireworks, yes. And Heidi, it is like crazy town. Like seriously, feel like you might be being bombed. Okay, so all I'm doing here is we're just, I can't imagine people who live in parts of the world that deal with war and um, sounds like how much anxiety they must cause people because you know ours is like just these sounds going off on Halloween and it's it's on your psyche it kind of toys with you a little bit or veterans who suffer from PTSD hearing it I can't even anyway so there we go we just threw in a couple deer is kind of small for pine cones I know what I was thinking was Laura, had I done it as a reverse so that this, the outer, we had actually colored the outer part, I could have had the deer poking out from behind so it gave it more of a 3D effect. Okay, yes, or people, yeah, same for. Let's grab my mini cut and emboss. Hello, my little friend. We don't do fireworks on Halloween, huh? Where, okay, Patricia, where are you? Hang on, I know where you are. I, 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 I'm, now I'm trying to remember. They're big here. They were banned in a few cities around us, and unfortunately, well, they weren't banned where I live. And so people came kind of to my area to um, 
light them off because it was legal here, but I don't know. We'll see. So just I can I'm chopping that off so I can cut it. Oh bejeez. Pause. Hang on, everybody hold. Oh good. I was like, I don't see my dies, but I just didn't take them off the wall. Yeah, you're you used to have to have a permit here. Hi, Becky. Thank you, Barbie. You're so sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna grab you. I can't believe I've used this set so many times live. It is not like me. Uh, tape. There you are. My other tape got toasted after the weekend. Banned in my city, yes. Does it actually help or do people bring them in? Like in here, kids kind of know where they can go to get them. And it's not legal and you're supposed to be 18 and have a permit. But the majority of places will still sell to teens. So, yeah, if they're, um, I don't know. I don't know what would do. Thank you. I appreciate that you like the deer. Uh, so, if you're wondering how I did my deer, my deer was stamped in soft suede. I did not stamp him in memento. And then I also, um, I stamped him in soft suede and I colored him in soft suede. So you kind of get a little bit of a line on line. They'll arrest you if they catch you. Wow. Here they just confiscate them from kids. So you'll see a lot of kids when, on Halloween, especially teenagers, will take an old backpack with them because reality is if you get caught, the cops tend to take your bag. Um, this is coming from, I'm speaking from experience. I didn't have my bag taken, but being a teenager in North Van, it's kind of a thing and you knew. Oh my God, when did you start using, I know, are you proud of me, Kim? After I made a, a zillion mistakes. No, we had a stamp camp. I think it was, and Lori had said to me, she'd mentioned low-tack tape. Speaking of low-tack tape, I feel like I might need to ask Santa from. Yes, the deer is on back order still. I feel like, like I need some more for my stocking. Okay, now what I've done here is I've actually gone with a soft succulent card base and I have gone with uh, an evening evergreen mat. I just want to check it. I'm just going to give him a little trim. Hang on one sec. Just so that my border is equal the whole way around. Okay, like that. And then he's going to come onto here. Now, does somebody know, do pine cones, are they supposed to be aimed upwards or downwards? How are they supposed to be aimed? Can you hang your pine cones? Can they dangle? Like, what do you do? I'm just trying to decide where to put them. Mm -hmm. This is the part I didn't plan. So I worked on my background online. I think I'll have to put in another order or two. I know, isn't it fun? <laughs> Throw my little deer on just for <laughs> Look at me. Okay. Nothing like a North Van teen. No. Okay, Mayor, come on. We knew that. Like, that was how we rolled in North Van. We were bad. Seriously, when your rules as teenagers were, like, if you saw the police, your rule was run. Unless. Hang on. Um, it was run unless. Does anyone know what the unless rule was when we were teenagers? If you were doing things stupid, like lighting off fireworks, and the police came, we always ran, unless what? Thank you, Marnie. Oh, Debbie, you're so sweet. I'm putting some white on the inside. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. Hang on. Put them on the table for a sec. Let's give them a little bit of zhuzhing first. We'll just add in a couple quick, where's my pit? Oh, let's see from. A couple quick leaves on here, okay? Sorry, and I'm totally getting ink on my table doing this, which is probably making some of you a little bit twitchy watching me, and I'm sorry. There we go. I just don't want the inside of the card naked at this stage. No, whoops, stuck my finger in it. There we go. Okay, check your thumbs. Only UB Sears knew what NV stood for, totally. Okay, so the rule was, when we were teenagers, you ran unless they had dogs. If the police had dogs, you did not run because then you would get hurt. An adhesive on the table. Oh yeah, I'm a mess. This is totally normal for me. 
I know, NB, North Bat. Well, I'm surprised she didn't put LB, which is Lynn Valley, which is where I live. Okay, so now, I'll just peel this off very slowly. So it had a lot of adhesive on it. But with this mat versus my uh, white um, grid paper, I can pull it off, which I couldn't before. Okay, now I need something below this because I can't see dark green against black. Oh, that was a really bad cut job. It's really long. Shoot. Oh, no, because it's not going in there. It's going on the inside of the card. What an idiot. I'm like, wait a minute. What did I do? There we go. All good. Under control. Next. Shared video. Thank you. Oh, Becky, I'm, that's so fun. First time. Just the first time, repeats. I'm actually being reasonably well-behaved tonight, Becky. It's not always the case. Hi, LA. Okay, so now let's take this. Let's turn it over. put you on to here. I have to keep an eye on the time or else they'll leave without me. Nope. Ah! I just did a really garbage lay down job. Just a sec. We're going to peel it up. And I know some of you are like, what? Don't peel it. You'll wreck it. I, I have to. I can't leave it like that. I just learned when I have to peel, I just peel slowly. And you try not to crease the paper. So kind of keep your hand moving underneath the paper so it doesn't bend. My kid was out with a backpack last night, but it came home with her. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, this one's got to go on here because I can't see squat. Okay. I know, but what great, Mary, that's fair. Leaky's grade 11. Joe stayed home. He was good. Okay, so we've got that. That pot is done. Peel, banana, peel, peel, banana. <gasps> Patricia, what a sweet man. Oh, I love it. He just earned major brownie points. Okay, now I need dimensionals. Sorry. Doot. 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 I have to take my computer with me to the rink. I have to get a blog post written. Okay. So let's put that on here. Okay, now, only thing we need to decide. Are we putting, no, did anyone comment on the pine cones and which way they're supposed to hang? Inking and stamping the pine cones backwards. Okay, Cindy, it was a game changer for me when I started um, inking the pine cones like that because I was doing it like you're doing first. I was doing the other way. Okay, so are the pine cones hanging down or are they tipping up? Does someone know? I don't know how they grow on trees. I don't pay attention to things like that. It's not in my wheelhouse. I'm watching. Hello from Texas. Hi, Carol. Winter pig. Hi, Denise. I'm waiting for you guys to tell me which way pine cones go. <gasps> Am I frozen? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. They go down? They all hang down. Okay. Isn't that funny? I wasn't sure. And then if we go down, do we, we can do that. We'll see. Anyway, you guys could tell me because you might not, you might hate the deer. Don't hate the deer. The deer is actually really cute. Hi, Dot. I like down. Okay, perfect. Good. I'm going to put the larger one on the right so that I've got, I don't cut into my sentiment quite as much. Put you kind of up in there. And then you, ooh, shoot. Okay, hang on. I'm going to move everybody up just a sec. Peel the pine cone. Peel, peel the pine cone. Peel the pine cone. Peel, peel the pine cone. Okay, there. You think the deer was good? Okay, perfect. I love you guys. Okay, so we're just going to move everybody up here a little bit because then it allows me to get this piece under. Ours are on the ground. <laughs> totally. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay, now, just a sec. Oh, don't stick. I'm not ready for you to stick yet. you got to kind of get snuck under. There. Woohoo! I like it because now you can see him peeking. Look at that. Okay, and you guys said the deer was okay. So the deer is going on. Oh, of course Keisha likes it. Keisha is my animal girl. Every, every time I use an animal on a card, I think of you, Keisha. Keisha would be proud of me. There we go. And then come up here. Now, we do definitely need some, like that, some of those sparklies. What do we want? Let's go check our holiday rhinestones. Looks like a vintage card. Well, thank you. Okay, so we got that. I think that's a compliment. I don't know. So I've gone to my holiday rhinestones. I think I am going to stick to using 
some, oh, I don't want the red too close to my red berries. I want to kind of spread it out. Mm. Maybe one like that. Just I just want a little bit of shimmer. Hi, Diana. Not here. Close it and come back. Frozen? Oh, okay. Leslie Ann was frozen. I was standing still for a second while I was reading. That could also be it. You guys, what do we think? Did it turn out okay? So here was, this was my practice background. I screwed up a leaf up there, but that's okay. I'll just hide it when I, I'll finish this card too. And I will put some different stuff on. But that is the deer from the punch. Yes. So in case you have no idea what I did there with the deer, just a sec, I'll show you. Once I find the deer stamp set, I lost it. Anyway, that's the deer I used. So just the plain one. Okay. And he's the one that also coordinates with the punch. And so I stamped him in soft suede ink. And then I colored him with soft suede markers. I can't do animals that are, I know, I totally understand what you're saying. I think it would just more be that look of like, but do you know what I'm saying? If I had tucked him behind it, it would look like he was in the background if I'd done the cutout. And it would have given that like the diorama effect that the dyes are actually meant for. I just love the fact that I could do this kind of beautiful um, line, it just gave me a really nice line to work with around my sentiment. Okay, so a couple quick things. I want you to remember, let's jump into here. It is not too late to grab this bundle. This bundle is killer. Where is it? It's so killer that I can't find it. I'll find you the page. I'm better at this than you'd think, especially now that they give me indexes in the back. There it is. Okay, so it tells us it is on page 18, page 18. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yes, that was homemade paper we made back there. So fun. So here it is. This is that gorgeous stamp set that we used. Um, this bundle, it's $73.75. Probably the best bundle that I have ever purchased. It had no sentiments in it, which makes it a little bit different, but you've got some beautiful label dies. Can you see them in there? Like gorgeous label dies. There's a coordinating suite, uh, a set, a bundle that's called Christmas to Remember that has different pine cone cutouts, whatever, but it's got some gorgeous sentiments that fit in with the same one. So, so beautiful. You're gonna wanna grab this one right now. Anyone grabbing it, I will send you out a free package of the holiday rhinestones, uh, or you can just choose to add them to your order. So, um, there you go, you can look here. It's the Christmas season bundle, it's item number 156801. The diorama dies. Those are the ones that we were using that were so pretty. Just a second. Where are they? Diorama dies. And as I said, those diorama dies come in a gajillion colors. Are you seeing Facebook comments? Yes, Diana, I answered that one. Yep, that's the deer from the punch. I, I read that. I don't. Did, maybe we missed each other. Maybe you moved over before I'd answered, but I did see it. There's a delay. So that was the layering diorama dies, which are killer too, you guys, for creating scenes. Um, just that kind of lovely look. Anyway, I hope that you guys all have an absolutely amazing evening. And I will see you all on, oh, I'll see you all on Wednesday. Oh, you moved over. I probably answered right after you moved over and now you're back. <laughs> Dana's messing with me. So remember, you're going to head on, and if you use my current host code, woo woo, um, I will send you out a free package of the Holiday Rhinestones if you're purchasing that gorgeous bundle. And it did turn out so well. I hope that you guys have an amazing afternoon, and I will see you evening, I guess.